introduce Ray. Thank you, I think you all can hear me. Uh, you know, I'd like to thank our athletic trainer, Chris Hopper, St. Bonaventure Athletic Department for allowing me the honor and privilege of being here tonight. Now, I have a lot of respect for the St. Bonaventure Athletic Department, their proactive approach, the concussion management awareness, and awareness is commendable. And it's very evident that their concern for the well-being of these student athletes is a top priority. And I hope everyone appreciates this beautiful university, and I mean beautiful. The state-of-the-art Richard Center, and the highly regarded, dedicated athletic trainers and coaching staffs here. I don't want to be redundant, but I came early today and I got to visit the Richard Center. And I've visited so many colleges and universities, and that center second to none. Again, I hope you all appreciate that, that privilege. You know, it's so heartfelt for me to see so many student athletes aspiring to be the best you can be. And to become a champion, you must possess the attributes of heart, courage, and focus. Before I address concussion awareness tonight, I would like to share with you a few inspiring quotes about heart, courage, and focus given to me by some of boxing's all-time greats. Their words of wisdom had a profound impact on my success both inside and outside the ring. When I received the Golden Club Heart Award, former middleweight champion Rocky Graziano said to me, Heart is measured by your inner desire to keep punching against all odds. Upon receiving the Jerry Flynn Courage Award, former two-time welterweight and middleweight champion Carmen Basilio shook my hand and said, Ray, courage is the ability to fight back your fear. And former two-time featherweight champion Willie Pep pulled me aside after a tough fight and said, you know, Ray, the difference between a contender and a champion is focus. You have a lot of potential, but you'll never be a champion until you learn how to stay focused. I trust this advice will be as beneficial to you as it was for me. Now I would appreciate it if you would stay focused for the next 20 minutes, because the message I'm about to deliver may be the most important message of your careers. I'm a former middleweight boxer and member of the Rochester Boxing Hall of Fame. In a career that spanned close to a decade, I'd never been knocked down. Every fight was a war. I always prided myself on facing top-ranked players, which included several U.S. and Canadian national champions. My only regret as a boxer is that I didn't defeat my toughest opponent. And that opponent was a concussion. For many years, I've been battling dementia, pugilistica, and Parkinson's syndrome. These progressive disorders are the direct result by not addressing concussions properly as a young boxer. The consequences of my actions have so deeply affected my life. My intention is not to scare anyone. I endorse playing all sports. Through my story, my goal is to educate athletes about the life-altering mistakes that I made with the hope that no one will suffer the same fate as me. Now, concussions, are hard to prevent. You play clean and you play hard. They're going to happen. But what is preventable <coughs> is when an athlete who has already sustained a concussion sustains a second concussion before symptoms from the first injury have properly healed. This is called second impact syndrome and carries with it a high risk of permanent brain damage and in some cases can be fatal. And the concussion that exhibits mild symptoms, believe this or not, can be potentially the most dangerous. When the symptoms are mild, 
you are more apt to think it's not that serious, not report it, and try to play through it, which puts you at risk for that second impact syndrome. Also, concussions do accumulate. You have to monitor the number of concussions that you get, especially within a short period of time. Several concussions can put you at risk of developing a neurological disorder later in life. Now, all you football fans out there, take for example, NFL star Steve Young of the San Francisco 49ers and Troy Aikman of the Dallas Cowboys. They were forced to retire prematurely during their prime playing days because of complications associated with numerous concussions they sustained throughout their careers. Now the symptoms of a concussion are the body's red flags. They're telling you something's wrong. They can be immediate or delayed in onset by hours or even days after the injury. Symptoms can consist of one or more of the following. Headache, forgetfulness, concentration problems, dizziness, nausea or vomiting, fatigue, unusual behavior, irritability, depression, sleep disturbances, blurred vision. <coughs> it is very important to pay attention to all these symptoms. My problems could have been avoided if I had known the consequences of ignoring the symptoms of a concussion. <coughs> Don't ignore them like I did. Get help immediately. Tell your coach, trainer, or supervisor. Now I'd like to share with you uh, my story. I was 16 years old, a junior in high school. I had everything going for me. I was a well-behaved honest.
fine, go ahead.